My name is Merle. I am growing up during the notorious heroin Kingpin Nikki Barnes era in the Harlem neighborhood where all their dots are either nodding out off the heroin or running around stealing anything they can to get a fix. It's a real crazy time for everyone. In my eyes, there are two sides to your dots in my neighborhood. Either you get it high or you get it money. My mom's back dope for some big drug dealing in the Bronx and is running her credit card scams on the side, so I can honestly say she's on the getting money side. The dope game is taking my whole community by the horns and dragging it down to the gutter. And because we're kids, we're subjected to everything and anybody. We're victims of our own circumstances. Nothing gets filtered. We see everything. Our role models in the neighborhood are Pete the Pusher, Nelson the Number Runner, and Harriet the Hope. And because of all this, I always dream of being big and successful like those movie stars I see on Hollywood Squares. When my mom goes out hustling, she drops me off here at my cousin's house. There are about 12 of us under one roof, ages 2 to 22, and most of them have a juvenile record. But the only one I like the most out of all my cousins is Justine. Yep, Justine always has my back. That is, except when her abusive boyfriend isn't snatching her ball head and dragging her out the house to go make that money. Anyhow. All I wanted to do was use the basketball and this to get away from the contempt I have for my convoluted neighborhood and the grips of my felonious family. But something is about to happen to me that will change my life for the next 25 years. Aunt uh, Ronnie, are you okay? Hey, baby. I know I I already did, just now. I didn't want to tell you. You didn't want to tell me what? Tell me everything. But you was doing so good in the program. I don't care about the program. Tell me Justine everything. Justine is in a hospital dying of AIDS. You will not believe how many people in my neighborhood came forward to me and said, that's the same thing that happened to me. That's the same thing that happened to me. And this is what went on in my household. You never come right I back. I promise I'll be back. I'll come visit you up at your mom's, okay? Don't leave me here, Justine. You hear me? Nothing. Nowhere. Well, let just stop it and stop teasing her. You know what? Melinda, stop it! Personal story really touches you right here. It was very powerful and it very touching. I give her much props for what she has done and for her to keep spreading the word and her awareness to be a part of the change in the world. Much props, much love. God bless.